Now we will compare two quantities. Okay. One is given here as 2.5 kilometer and another one is given as 250 meter. Okay. So by observing the unit, you can see that both of this we are talking about two length. Isn't it? 2.5 kilometer is the amount of some length and 250 meter is amount of some other length. Okay. So let's check which one is longer. Okay. That means which one is bigger in value. 2.5 kilometer or 250 meter. Which one is bigger? So whenever we will compare two quantities at that time we should be very 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 much careful about the units given. Okay, so in the first quantity the unit is given as kilometer and in the second quantity the unit is given as meter. Okay, so we so to compare we need to convert either kilometer in meter or meter in kilometer anyone but the units should be same. Okay, then only we can compare the quantities. Okay, so let us see. I am going to convert this kilometer to meter. So kilometer to meter. Meter is the basic unit. What should I do? One step, two steps, three steps. From higher to lower unit. So what should I do? 2.5 into... Higher to lower, that's why multiplication 10 to the power 3. That is 1, 2, 3, 1 followed by 3 zeros. Okay, now how can I do it? Now let us remove this one and divide it by 10. Why? Because this decimal point I'm removing and given here 1 and 1 digit after decimal point, so 1 0. Okay, so let us reduce. 100 that is 2500 zero, zero. okay so 2500 zero, zero. and when I have multiplied it by 1000 at that time when I have multiplied it by 1000 at that time the unit I should write as meter so 2.5 kilometer is nothing but 2000 500 meter 2500 meter and you see another quantity it is given as 250 meter now easily we can compare that 2500 meter is obviously greater than 250 meter therefore I can write it down as 2.5 kilometer is bigger than 200 50 meter. Here are 3 digits and here are 4 digits. Okay. And same unit. That's how you can compare it easily. So, what have we done? Whenever we are converting, whenever we are comparing two quantities, we need to be very much careful about the unit. Two units should be same. Okay. So, for that, we need to convert one unit to another unit. Okay. The same question you can do it in another way. How come? That here 250 meter you can convert it into kilometer and then you can check it. Okay. So 250 meter. So this time we are going to convert this meter to kilometer. Okay. So this meter to kilometer. So check it now this time from lower unit to higher unit. Lower unit to higher unit. How many steps? One step, then two steps, then three steps. So three steps lower to higher. So lower to higher means we need to divide. So 250 divided by something. Divided by what? Three steps. So 10 to the power 3. That is 1 followed by three zeros. And when I have divided... Uh, then I need to write it down that unit in which I have converted. So 250 divided by 1 
thousand. Okay. So here three zeros are there. So I need to take three uh, digits from the numerator and for one I need to place point. So it will be point two five zero kilometer. Okay. Or we can write it down. That is la at last this is zero. So you can write it down as zero point two five kilometer using the concept of equivalent fraction. Okay. Equivalent decimal, sorry. Okay, so that is 0.25, and here it is 2.5. Which one is bigger? You have learned this decimal comparison, isn't it? And at this time, both of these units are in kilometer, so you can compare it very easily. That 2.5 here whole part is 2, and here whole part is 0. So, we can easily compare it as 2.5 kilometer is bigger than 0.25 kilometer, than 0.25 kilometer and 0.25 kilometer is nothing but 250 meter. Therefore, 2.5 kilometer is bigger than, sorry, 250 meter. That's the answer. Okay. So, in both the ways, you can do the comparison. Okay. Thank you.